Number one, Gimmelwald. Nestled high in the Alps, overlooking the Lauterbrunnen Valley, this postcard perfect town is the quintessential Swiss Alpine village. This tiny car free village is only reachable by hiking or cable car. Gimmelwald simply feels like another world, a simpler, slower paced life, surrounded by the most breathtaking scenery in the world. The only bad thing about this place is how difficult it will be for you to leave. One of the most beautiful villages in Switzerland, and in fact, this picturesque village on Lake Lugano is part of the Swiss Federal Inventory of Sites Worthy of Protection. Of particular architectural interest is the Church of Santa Maria del Sasso, the terraced cemetery, and the Tower of the Captain. For those of you who love the nature and peace of certain destinations, you can see the beautiful gardens that are full of exquisite subtropical flora on the lakefront. A wonderful location for those quieter holidays. Situated at the foot of the Jungfrau mountain, this traditional car-free resort town boasts breathtaking views, warm locals, delicious food, and access to some of the country's most wonderful nature. You can hike through the green hills in the spring, admire the valley ablaze in the warm colours of autumn, or enjoy skiing and other sports in the winter. The best thing about Wengen is that this town is an amazing holiday all year round. Number 4. Spies or Spiez. Up to you. Known for its iconic medieval castle. Breathtaking scenery and picturesque convenience, Spies overlooks Lake Tun and boasts views of the surrounding Alps. Here you can hike through the hills or take a boat ride on the Blue Lake and sample some of the freshest fish. Now, if you travel simply for the cuisine, it's a destination with an impressive culinary offering, with good food and the opportunity to taste the local wine. Number 5. Montreux Located on the beautiful shores of Lake Geneva, Montreux epitomizes tranquility and the natural beauty that surrounds it. It is an incredibly pretty town that is often referred to as the Swiss Riviera. So it's no surprise that many famous artists, writers and travellers have frequented this inviting lakeside town in the past. Montreux is home to stunning historical architecture and there are plenty of activities all year round. 
from skiing and snowboarding in the winter to hiking and biking in the summer. Montreux is situated roughly around one hour from Geneva Airport. Number six, Lutry. Lutry is a medieval market town that is home to an 11th century church and a 16th century castle. You can wander through the cobbled streets and discover various galleries, shops, cafes, and wine cellars. The town also has a beautiful waterfront, which adds to its picturesque setting. For those who love to hike, there are a number of hiking routes to explore, where you can discover the stunning scenery of the area. A wine harvest festival takes place at the end of September, so I guess it's a great time to visit the town, as you can attend tastings to sample the local wine. Number seven, Schaffhausen. This small historic town in northern Switzerland has plenty of charm and a surprising amount of attractions. With Renaissance period architecture, a lovely riverside location, a close proximity to Switzerland's largest waterfall, and opportunities for outdoor activities. So if you have two days in Schaffhausen, I recommend renting a bike and cycling to Stein am Rhein, one of Switzerland's best preserved medieval towns. Or you can take a train to the Rhine Falls, which are the largest waterfalls in Europe. Number 8. Stein am Rhein Stein am Rhein is a small but lively town situated where the river meets Lake Constance in the northern area of Switzerland. The charming old town features well-preserved medieval architecture and cobbled lanes. But by far the most recognisable feature of this town is the historical buildings with intricately painted facades which give Stein am Rhein its fairy tale status. The good thing is, the town is small enough to explore on a day trip, so take a wander along the waterfront. Number 9. saint Eusan. Located in the Jura Mountains and on the banks of the river, saint Eusan is a small, untouched medieval town. Inhabited by only a few hundred people, it is a place of inviting peace and tranquility. Outside of the village, visitors can explore the surrounding wilderness via a number of stunning hikes. Or take to the river by canoe or kayak. It's a perfect location as it's only one hour away by train from Basel. Number 10. Ascona. Ascona, the pearl of Lake Maggiore, features pretty pastel coloured houses clustered together around a tranquil harbour. The climate 
allows for leisurely strolls along the boardwalk promenade, taking in the stunning lake and mountain views. The old town has, at its heart, the tall bell tower, being the town's central landmark. And branching out from the church is a series of narrow lanes, boutiques, antique shops and galleries. Gastronomy is also one of the main attractions of the town, so if you love your food, don't forget to try the hearty risotto. So there you have it, Switzerland, long been known for its breathtaking scenery, cuisine and majestic beauty of the Alps. The thing about this country is it has so much to offer for all types of travellers. So I hope these towns and villages have given you an idea about where to travel next. So now I'm signing off and I'm about to go outside, soak up some vitamin D and enjoy an iced Americano with vanilla milk. As always, be